San Diego is starved for a national champion. It's been seven years since the San Diego Chargers left, and for some fans, it still stings not having professional sports. But who needs the NFL when the city has doubled down on college football? Until now, they had the Aztecs to root on at the FBS level and, well, the Toreros at the FCS level. Instead of waiting and hoping for the Aztecs or Toreros to kick it up a notch, you know what they say, competition breeds excellence. And it's time to give this city what they deserve, a national champion. Tony Hawk and Blender's Eyewear, two San Diego purists, have teamed up together to invest $101 million into starting its new college at Salona Beach with the goal of bringing the city a championship football program. Sponge make up a vibrant ocean ecosystem across the San Diego County. From gray moon sponge to rare glass sponge, scientists have recently uncovered a new poisonous sponge species, the killer sponge, right off our beaches here in Salona. Hence, the Salona Beach sponges were born. One of the best parts of San Diego is the beach. So why in the world would I go watch a football game when I can go to the beach? This is definitely a marketing problem that's not uncommon to the San Diego area. To solve this fandom issue for now, Tony Hawk has decided to lower prices to $10 a game. Yeah, that's less than a full meal at in and out But wait, it doesn't stop there. He's also given out free scrub daddy sponges to the first 5,000 fans in attendance for each game. Go to the beach or get some thrilling entertainment and a free scrub daddy sponge. I think I know my answer. For Salona Beach, Tony Hawk's first order of business was to hire Philip Rivers as the coach to lead this team forward. Man has 10 children. I think he knows how to build a team. But hey, this team is not like any other. It's gonna be hard to build this one up. Let's go ahead and meet the team. Quarterback Dylan Wave in his final year of eligibility was actually a senior leading the flag football club at the University of San Diego before receiving a call from Philip Rivers and co. He made an immediate impact Packed as a walk-on during the spring game and secured the starting role. Wide receiver Kenny Shoulders, former high school track star, has some burst to him, but the five foot seven senior receiver will have a tall task at hand to lead the sponges in their inaugural season in the Mountain West. Brent Martin, a fourth string sophomore receiver transfer from Rutgers, majoring in biochemical engineering, wanted to get some play time on the gridiron, so coming back home to Salona Beach was an appealing move for the sophomore. He should lead us onward as the seniors graduate. Tight end, Rock Boston, what a name. Like Brent, this is another young gun, a freshman who has potential to shine going forward in our rather unimpressive first year roster. A criminal justice major, I'm confident he can investigate why our roster is struggling and present his case to fix it. Offensive line is just rough across the board, if we're being honest. Dennis Broxton, a freshman defensive back and former two-way high school athlete, followed his girlfriend to school from Illinois to San Diego. He thought he done gave up his dream to play and settle down. Wrong, he got done dirty, but Philip Rivers, thankfully, was there at the right place at the right time. Dennis began his gym arc and was given a second chance to play again for Salona Beach. Cam Brown, a junior linebacker from Mississippi, will lead the linebacking core for the next couple years. The report looked good on this guy. He said he played a lot of Madden in NCAA football, so he should be able to read any offense as good as anyone else. Brief look at the rest of the defense. We have a lot of holes, and we're going to need to start addressing that in recruiting. Can't forget the best player on the roster, Kai Smallwood, but there's nothing small about his leg. Let's jump into the recruiting board. There are a couple stipulations for the series. Until we win a bowl game, we can only recruit three-star prospects or less. And stipulation number two, we can only recruit prospects from a state that borders an ocean. And it's not just the Pacific Ocean here in Cali. We can go ahead and get them from the Atlantic Ocean or the Gulf of Mexico. This is the sponge way. Wherever you can find a sponge, those are our guys. Okay, well, this is easy to avoid our first stipulation because uh, no one's interested in us that's higher than a three-star. I think we just need reinforcements, so I'm just gonna start and target anyone that's just interested in us. I think any of these three stars would be a major help. All right, not gonna be able to tell a whole lot here with 25% scouting ability. We're gonna need to upgrade Philip Rivers' skill there. My initial approach is gonna be to pump Philip Rivers' recruiting traits. Okay, it's officially week one for the Salona Beach Sponges, but before we play Hawaii, let's jump into our recruiting board and allocate some points. Mark Wood, 55% of the way there, but he looks nice. 80 run block, 76 pass block. That could be a gem. Most of these guys will be upgrades, so I say we just start giving some scholarships out. Thank goodness Brandon Moore, a nice looking three-star athlete, is from New Jersey because I see 84 throw power, 75 accuracy, among some other promising traits. Only 20% of the way here on Josh Daniels, but man, those are the stats that matter. Run block and impact is high. 
probably higher than any of our other guards on the team. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Salona Beach opens up against Hawaii in a battle for the basement in the Mountain West. At 57 overall, this is the worst team in the FBS. Heck, it might even be worse than some FCS schools. Let's take a look at the Lime and Lavender fits. We got the Home, the Away, all Lavender, the Lavender alternate with the cursive script. We got the Lime Unis, we got Lime alternate, we got the all Blacks, Black alternates, all Whites and white alternates. So we got a lot to play with here. So I'm just gonna start mixing and matching and I want you all in the comment section to let me know what your favorite combos are. For the inaugural game, we're gonna go with the home unis, but just a alternate script helmet. Here we go, Salona Beach taking on the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, man. This is gonna be a fun one. Absorbent Field is the site for this one in Northern San Diego. Who's ready for some football as we take the opening kickoff? Shoulders looking to return this one. School record, zero. Passing touchdowns, we already set a record. Don't know if I told you all, but real quick, I applied some of the realistic harder sliders to make the experience more challenging. All right, who's ready to get this party started? Let's hand it off to Horde. Two yards. There it is, the first play in school history. He's amped because he just set a record for rushing yards in a game at two. That's probably gonna get old fast, so uh, let's not do it too much. Yo, wave, your first pass was not accurate. We're gonna need to settle in with the accuracy because that was crazy as Brent Martin bust one through and a stiff arm, keep it going, oh man. Big play, 35 yards, Brent Martin. There is the first connection for Dylan Wave. Brent just got his way through a couple defenders there. Here we go, new set of downs. I'm going deep for Rock Boston. And that's an interception to pay from Hawaii, this is this is gonna be a long season. All right, looks like an empty set out here. Our first look at the defense. I'm taking control of Cam Brown. Oh man, I just went right past him. There we go, was that a sack? Yes, we dropped Schrager. We got a couple defenders there, I'm ready for that. There we go. Oh man, he's going deep, he's going deep, make a play. Broxton. What are we doing? Well, the defensive drive looked promising, but now it's gonna be back on the offense's hands to make something happen. Wave scrambling out. I don't think we got one, but let's just keep it. He can get a first down and some, nice. Just nowhere to go there and dropped. Second and 21, that blitz is coming in so hot. Wave is able to break free, make a throw. Dangerous throw. Third and 21, we're just gonna have to dial up this deep attack. Over the middle, Wheeler couldn't hold on to it. We're just gonna have to punt this ball back. There we go, Cam Brown making the tackle. There's a blitz coming in. This could be good. Okay, deflection, we'll take that. No fly zone back here. Let's soak him up, baby. Third and three, look for that short play. He's scrambling, he has nowhere to go. We got him. Held him just short of the first down. Leron Mallory was able to bring him down, at least trip him up or down. Let's get that ball back. All right, let's start mixing in the run just a little more here. First down, hand it off to Horde. Here we go. Let's see if he can spring out. Dude, third and 13 once more. Over the middle, I don't know why I just went on my back foot there. Fourth down again. State of our offense, dire. State of our defense, dire. We got it all covered. We got it covered up, come on. Yes, let's go Broxton. Oh my goodness, big pick. Cut back. Let's go. The dual way athlete man, heartbroken in the off season, hit the gym and he's back with a big pick in week one. Come on. First and 10, a little read option here. Wave with a burst. Let's try the inside zone again. It hasn't really been working. Horde bounces off. Third and short, part of me feels like a read option is a good idea because that gives us a couple options to get the first down. And yep, that was a great choice as Wave is able to get a burst. First and 10, let's see if they bite on the play action. They sure do. Is that shoulders? It was shoulders. Wave's arm is not anywhere accurate. All right, buddy, let's shake off that one for eight start pass. Passing. There we go. Let's get it to shoulders. Hurrying it up into the red zone. Let's see if we can capitalize on a little momentum here. Wave, scrambling, scrambling. He got a guy. Oh, that would have been filthy if somehow my receiver could have made a play. Back to the well. 
I like to get him with the play action, see if it works this time. Not really. Third and 10, we're gonna run this level switch, see if anyone can get open. There was someone open and I tried to throw it away and that was absolutely terrible for our field goal position for everything. Coach is telling us that our guy's out of range. We're gonna have to go for it on fourth and 25. It's almost like a punt at this point, you know what I mean? So let's just go deep to our guy. It's the equivalent of honestly what would have happened the other way around. Third and two, let's bring the house. Let's see if we can get a stop. Looks like it's gonna be a run. We got a guy there. Not enough. Boom, he gets dropped for a big sack. There we go, they just hand it off. That's gonna be a timeout from us. And we got a minute 20 to drive down this field and get some points. Minus that initial blender, honestly, I'm impressed with how our 57 overall defense is doing. Oh my gosh. First down, there we go, we got a guy. Let's hit him, shoulders, see what we can get going here. QB keeper, Wave's gonna keep it. Works his way through for nice 12 yard gain. First and 10, about midfield here. Let's just scramble out, yeah, let's keep it. That's a big play by Wave. Yes, sir. Oh, we got a guy. We got a guy. What was that underthrown ball? Just about to crack into the red zone. There we go. We got it to shoulders. He's got a burst. He's headed down the sideline. First and goal. Our first time knocking on opportunity, and we've done it pretty quick. Down here in less than a minute. We're just going to hand it off to Horde. Time's ticking. Second and goal. Wow, there was just nowhere to go. Timeout. Third and goal. We're dialing up the sprint. And I see Brent. Oh, man. Couldn't get into the end zone, fourth and goal. We settle down and just take our three. And there is the first points in Solona Beach history. Brown, come on. Yes, sir. Make that play. Send in the blitz, get Brown in there. Push, it's going deep. This could be a good play for us. Yes, Gene Lewis making the play, taking it back our way. Let's go. Two picks today for the sponge defense and I like what I'm seeing. Phillip Rivers loves what he's seeing out of his defense. Now let's get back to form as an offense, something Phillip Rivers would do like right there with the play action completion. Play actions are a big part of our game here, but there's just nowhere to go. Can I throw it away, please? Thank you, game. And that's intentional grounding. Absolutely brutal, man. So brutal that the ticker for second down can't even tell me what down it is. And Hawaii with a strip sack fumble. Touchdown. I hope that free scrub daddy uh, is keeping you enticed to stay because uh, there's a long road ahead. Blitz coming back in, looks pretty hot. Let's just keep it with wave. What a dive and sack by that man. Really just struggling to get anyone open on anything and then to have time. There we go, there we go, and we got it off. Gaiman with a big 35 yard snag. Hand it off, get that run game working. There's Horde, looking for a quick slant option. Brent drops it, a little tight contested there. Fourth down. I just have to go for it here. We're past midfield. I mean, it's like, why wouldn't we? Stomp it out. Can you get it? Shoulders, use your speed, man. Oh yeah, big time play there. TFL for Cam. As a defensive unit, let's just keep making their life difficult because the offense is just not making it easy for us right now. Third down, just gotta make a play and that play has been made. I'll say it again, I'm honestly super impressed with the defense for how low overall we are, Heisman difficulty, sliders being kind of, you know, jacked to a harder challenge. I get the sense we gotta find Pater on this drive. If we don't, game's probably out of reach. Read option, Waves got some wheels. I tried to slide there. Big third down here. Let's make something happen. There we go, the curl route. Gaiman is open. First down, man in motion. Dropped again, man. The blitz just gets through so quick. Gotta get a snap off here before the end of the third. There we go. I see a man. What a play to Wheeler. I think he's got him or are they saying out of bounds? They're saying out of bounds, aren't they? I can't tell what the broken ticker in the corner. I am gonna challenge that play. Not available. That was most definitely a completion. Yeah, they're making us work even harder out here, aren't they? Over the middle. Wheeler says, give it back to me. I will get that first down. Little halfback draw. See if we can get some room. Second and six, out to Brent. We got a first down. We gotta find Pater. Who's it gonna be? Tight end over the middle. That looks like Bundy. All right, let's snap this one off. Who can soak up the first touchdown in sponge history? Who's it gonna be? Anyone? Who? Anyone? You? No, that was a terrible throw. Read option feels fair for a third and short here. Let's just try it out. Yep, wave. Didn't get it. Risky, but I'm gonna run a quick slant. Let's see what happens. Outside. We got a man. Wheeler, four, six. There it is. Sponge is on the board. 
Dylan Wave throws his first touchdown pass. We're right back in this game. The defense has been holding. Offense finally gets the job done. We're not finished yet as we're gonna go for two to narrow this thing down to a three point deficit. Gotta cash in with the right play. Let's see if we got it here. I'm gonna drop it off. Ah, defense by Williams. So we're forced now to make a stop on defense and playing some good football out here on defense, making their life hard today. What else do we got in store? Let's not let this get open. Yeah, nowhere to go. Here's a pass. He is so open. What in the world? I just saw that develop. That was crazy. Here we go. It's a handoff. We got the guys to get through and make a play fourth down come on when i saw the 50 overall i mean i didn't expect to have a chance to win a game in week one shoulders getting a favorable punt here we got some room to spring one what a move and a defensive showing for sure today first and 10 we're handing it off to horde who's got room for the first time all game Let's see if anyone can get open here oh he was open i missed him so bad i missed him so bad let's hit up rock boston there we go the freshman tight end it makes his first catch over the middle. Yes, Wheeler, the man that scored the touchdown and having a great game. I know this is taking a little bit of clock, but I do have three timeouts, so I'm just gonna start off with a handoff, see if we can get it to go that way. Let's see what we can do. Dumping it off to Horde. There it is, six. Come on, man. Carson Horde comes through. Dylan Wave to Horde, this is insane. Wave and the sponges aren't done yet. We're going for two. Let's see what we can do here. We're gonna dump it off to Rock Boston. Get through, big fella. Oh man, this game's not over yet. Has what a dive by Ashlock. This game is far from over. All they need is field goal range and uh, they're working their way down. He's going deep, he's got him. Are you kidding me? Tackle him, tackle him, tackle him! Oh, oh no, oh no. I was already celebrating with Philip Rivers on the sideline and this is a valuable lesson. It's not over till that final whistle blows. But uh, do I have a chance here? We don't have the arm to get it to him. I think he had a step, but that's game, man. We lose. And Isaiah Tufaga had a game for the ages on defense, man. Solana's got a road ahead of them. I was encouraged at some things, but I was expecting some heartbreak just like that. Despite the heartbreaking loss, somehow Philip Rivers levels up like four more times. I don't really get that, but I can't complain. We'll take all the help we can get. Let's go check back on our recruits, Brandon Moore. Let's scout him out. He is a gem after all with great speed, throw power. He's got spin, juke, carry. He can play a variety of positions here, it looks like. This man will probably be the QB of the future. Here we go, Alex Brown, speaking my language, gem prospect. Let's juice up those points. I can just smell out the gem in Mark Wood. Michael Allen, 74 speed, 86 throw power, 75 accuracy, gem quarterback from Jacinto City, Texas but I think my eyes are really set on Brandon Moore here from New Jersey, six foot two, 190, 84 speed, 84 throw power. He will have more of that scrambling dual threat ability that I'm hoping for. Week two against the Lobos, and uh, you know it's rough when the Lobos make you look silly and have a 10 point overall differential than you. Week two back in Solana Beach, going against the Lobos in this one. Let's get this party started. First and 10, I'm gonna hit up Brent across the middle, making a nice 18 yard snag. Dylan Wave looking to be much more efficient in this one. He doesn't wanna go down like one for 11 in his passing line like he did last week. Two great plays already on offense. I like this, this is a good start. Let's dump it up to Brent. Whoa, what am I doing? Second and 10. I think over the middle looked like it was gonna get there. Yeah, there was a couple guys, but just get sacked, nowhere to go. Well, the promising drive is already to third and 18. Let's just throw one out, see if we can get some yards back. Perkins gets us nine. I think Phil Rivers wants to go down as one of the most aggressive coaches in college football because uh, we're going for it, fourth and nine. We're past midfield. It's the whole past midfield mentality, like, what much difference does it make? And I didn't even want that to happen. I'm gonna be a buck. Like I thought I was throwing a bullet pass and that thing lobbed up in the air for far too long. Defense looked good in week one before that absolute collapse in the fourth quarter. Lobos are past midfield. Let's get in there, Brown. Yes, making a play. How did we not make that tackle? And he's just gonna work his way through. Big control Cam Brown going up against the tight end here. He just throws it off his back foot, and that was very dangerous. Thankfully, we make a play. Going for the big field goal here. Looks like about a 45-yarder. Does he got the leg? Sure does. Let's get the ball back, and let's get to work. Shoulders with the return. 
Got a lane open here. He's pushing it down the sideline past the 40 into midfield. Gonna put us in good position here. Let's start off with a little bit of an option, handing it off to Horde. He's got a nice six yard carry. Second and four, gonna throw one out here to Gaiman. Okay, third and 10. Let's do a slip screen, see if we can get some yards back. Horde connects the grab, but just like his feet become cinder blocks and he couldn't go anywhere. Hello, old friend, pass midfield, fourth down play. We're doing it again. Fourth and 11, Blitz is coming in hot and I just couldn't even throw it. Sacks, turnover, first and 10. Let's spring out there, yep, good play. Just runs over our guy, Washington. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. How did Erickson just stutter step past me like that? Let's make some noise, folks. D up, third down, Brown. Oh, he found Wysong. Cam Brown, a little too late. Christian Washington, four, six. Let's see if we can find someone here. I see a couple people developing in the backfield. What a play to Martin. Oh, someone's got to spring open there, right? Yes, Wheeler for nine. Second and one. I feel pressure, but Wave gets out of the way and gets his way down the sideline. A spin move. Wave putting on a show. What a run. 31 yards. Back to the read option. Well, Wave's going to keep it some more. What is he going to do? Dylan Wave is having a way today, and he just gets the six. Back to Wheeler. The go-to man who scored one in the last game gets another in week two. Third and 19. Let's get the stop here. Nowhere to go. We're gonna get that ball back with a minute to drive down the field. Golden opportunity here with less than a minute to go and a starting position at the midfield. First and 10, we gotta come away with at least three points as, wow, there wasn't even a second to breathe. This is the Lobos, folks, not Ohio State. This is the Lobos. Wow, what a play on the run though. Third and five here, very much with a chance. Got a few people open for goodness sake. Fourth and five, we're just gonna send it for goodness sake. Just gonna get it out in time. This is crazy. Eight seconds left, Lobos somehow get their way down here really fast. And uh, they're gonna get a field goal off at least. This will send us into halftime with a six point deficit. Lobos score awfully fast, so we need to get to work on offense and yeah, I don't know what type of read that was. Just dominant on the ground right now. New Mexico is just rubbing it in. Make a play. Broxton, come down with it, man. It was all you. It was no one but you in the vicinity. Here we go, third down. Just only needed a couple and he got it. Lobo's out here moving on us, but that is going to go nowhere. What a tackle for loss. He sniffed that one out. Third and goal, motion, receiver. Let's make a big play. The slip screen really did fool us there. Can he get out of his tackle? Cannot. Touchdown, Washington having a day. That's his third. There we go. Rock Boston. Way to come back and make the catch, 20 yards. I realize I'm already staring at defeat more than likely here, but let's try to get some more little victories. Not a good sign for Dylan Wave on that last one. The backup Sherman comes in, Rock Boston for 17, but uh, that is not a sign we'd like to see with Dylan Wave going down. Thank goodness it was just one play of a scare. He's back. Maybe he just needed some some juice, but I don't know what he took on the sidelines because he just threw another pick. This one is out of reach. We're getting embarrassed by the Lobos, which is embarrassing to say, to say the least. Not quite sure what happened. The Wave must be back in the tent. Because Sherman's out there, and wow, my goodness, Timmons is slow. Most fans have probably left to the beach by now, but for those that remain, let's give him a show. First and 10, back to the play action well. Sherman's got some legs with it as he goes to the end zone and threw a pick. All right, this one's all wrapped up. The nightmare is over. We lose 34 to 7 to the New Mexico Lobos. Look at the stats. Honestly, man, it's just ugly all around. Couldn't get the run game going. Couldn't get much going in general here. Back to the recruiting board we go. Thank goodness we're pulling away with Brandon Moore. All right, all right, it's rivalry week. Taking on Coastal Carolina in the Battle of the Beaches. This year in week three, both of our schools are 0-2 in the young season. Someone's gotta get their first win in this rivalry game. What a scene on the teal field. The sponges are in town. First time on the road for Phillip Rivers and the squad. There's got to be some work done in this game and hopefully we see some promising results. First look at the road unis. Man, these look clean, I'm not gonna lie. 
Oh yeah, Brown is there with the squad to bring you down. First play of the game. This is a start of a fun rivalry for the years to come. Battle for the beaches, you know, who's got the best side? Is it the west side or is it the east coast? Make a play, come on, stop that man. No. Drop him back, he's going deep. Mobley just had a step on him. So open, Mobley finds his way through again. Promising start on defense has led them all the way down to the goal line. So let's see if we can at least make the stand. Let's send in the house on the blitz. Costin makes the stand, a boy. Fourth and goal, great play. Let's hold him to that three. I see a few Lime and Lavender fans in the stands. But man, we're outnumbered. And uh, I must have missed the memo, all right. Dylan Wave is injured and Sherman is getting the start today. This is a significant downgrade, but let's see if he can at least show what he's worth in this game. As he finds game and nice. We're gonna go have to check on our buddy Dylan here after this game, see if he's all right. Second and seven, a little play action. Going over to Brent, first down, just past midfield. Let's keep the thing going. Ah, just drop. Third and 21, let's see what we can do. Just drop this one off to the defender. What a play, he was ready. Not going anywhere with that option. Third and 14, bringing the blitz and making the stop. Glenn is there for the big tackle. We're gonna get that ball back. New life on offense. There's our man Gaiman. Just feels so hard to muster up offense with this team right now. And we go across the middle. There's Perkins, big play. Uh-oh. I was blind to that incoming pressure. Second and 25, my goodness. Shoulders. Just couldn't hold on. Those sacks are just so costly to the drive that we really got to find a way to just get it out of our hands. Let's go. The pressure gets in and dumps him. Brett Glenn has been playing out of his mind the last couple weeks. Really one of the only guys stepping up on the stat sheet. Excuse me? Why was he just so open? Third and 10. We got to get the stop here. Let's get that ball back. Brown makes the assist, and we're going to get it back. Let's try to incorporate the run a little bit more. It's just every time I do, it gets snuffed out so quick. There we go. Slant play was there. It was developing. Third and seven. Brent Martin could not hold on. Another chance here to get a hold on defense. Fourth down, we make a big hold. We're gonna get the ball back again. Theme for this game is just struggle. We're struggling to get even a first down. There's pressure, there's blitzes, there's everything in our face. Third and five, let's dial up the right play here. What's it gonna be? Pressure in our face, that's what I'm looking at. But let's scramble with Sherman. Can he get it? He does, man, what a run. QB keeper for the first. First and 10, need to operate fast. I was reading that route. He was gonna spring away. Maybe I just threw it too early. Oh, come on, what? I thought a user lurked that. I was all over it. Oh my gosh. Instead, I give up the first down and they're in the red zone trying to cash in. Oh, what a stick. Get him down, bring him down. He's had so much time. Finds a man, thank goodness it's not in the end zone. We're just gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, time's expired. Don't let him score. Drop him, yes, let's go. We hold at halftime. This game's only gonna be a 3-0 halftime score. My gosh, what a stop. Staying in the game really doesn't matter if we can't muster up any offense. I just can't do anything right now. Second and 10, let's hit the curl. We got him, shoulders. Keep it going, first down. Let's get some tempo going here. I see shoulders again. Excuse me? Oh my goodness, what happened? Coke some, our third strings in, and it's only week three. This is scary hours. And you see that pass and that accuracy? Scary hours. Bruised his elbow, will return soon. But in the meantime, on this drive, it's Coke some, the freshman, and he's throwing some scary balls. He can't even just throw an accurate pass. Luckily, Sherman wasn't out all too long. We're gonna drop it off for a slip screen to Horde. Desperately needing Dylan Wave back as the offense is just stuttering all around. Gosh, that blitz, that pressure. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. You tell me, is this a cry for desperation? Because realistically, we're not getting this fourth down conversion. There's just nowhere to go, again. Even worse, we get sacked and they have better position. Defense was not gonna be able to hold forever. It's first and goal, and McCall's just gonna keep it. Touchdown. 
flag though. Bring that back. Come on. Can we break through. Make a play. Braden Bennett for six. We're running out of options here as I run the option. <laughs> Nine yards. You all let me know in the comments what you think we need to address first in the recruiting portal, but man, there are a lot of needs and offensive line is one of them. I didn't think it was possible to look worse than last week, but the offense just keeps stuttering and taking steps back. As Wheeler though says, I'm still here. Third and 10, let's make something happen. We're not going to. This is unacceptable really, but I mean, what do you expect from a first year program? That was not even accurate. Shut out by our rival, 23-0. Coastal downs us pretty easily. Only able to muster up 106 total offensive yards this game. We are gonna have to suffer for two more weeks without Dylan Wave as he's dealing with a broken toe. The Salona Beach Sponges are falling to 0-3 in the young season. Phillip Rivers is gonna have to dial up something fast to turn the tide here. If you're soaking it up and enjoyed the start of the series, keep it here with King Sponge. Hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of fun stuff going on, including some college football giveaways. A new episode of my creative team will come out each and every Friday, but in the meantime, I'm sure you will love these. Go check them out.